Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of CampingGearTV.com. I am Ben. I'm Josh. Today we are looking at a flashlight. Another flashlight. Another flashlight, but this one is special, right? Yeah, this one is special. It's um, waterproof. It's waterproof. Uh, it's actually in the bucket of water right now. Our famous bucket. It's right here. Um, and you can see uh, it's shiny. It's still working. Um, it's the Pelican Stealth Light. 2400 submersible flashlight um, and if you uh, if you know much about Pelican then you already know that they make a lot of uh, pretty you know hardcore rugged gear um, that uh, a lot of it's kind of on the, the waterproof side of things so they make a lot of cases to keep stuff dry and you know flashlights like this um, what else do they make they make some little iPod things to yeah, keep yeah, iPods yeah, yeah. waterproof cameras and things like yeah. that so camera cases iPhone, that uh, iPhone cases and things like that right. so Pelican is what it's called um, so this flashlight like I said it's, it's a stealth light it's, it's all wet 2400 it is all wet may I dry your flashlight sir <laughs> you may you may what an offer what a gentleman my hands all wet will you dry that too no you're on your own for that one I don't dry wet hands I'm disappointed it's kind of uh it's interesting it from a distance, it looks like cheap plastic, but it yeah. feels pretty sturdy. It's actually a resin that it's made out of. Um, Man, that and one of the big features is that it's corrosion resistant. Jeez. It lasts a long time. <laughs> ben is trying to break it, <laughs> and he can't. I thought it was a cheap plastic flashlight. No, it's, it's definitely not. It's not, uh, it's not cheap in construction or in price. No, good lord. These things cost about uh, maybe $25, give or take. Um, I've seen some in the 30s online. But uh, it looks like you can get them for down closer to 20 um, at a number of places. And we'll try and find some good prices and, and put some links down there. Um, a couple other things about it. It runs on four double A's. They were a little bit kind of funky to get in there. But um, you know, once I, I did it once, how do we put them in? How do you we put it in, you unscrew the top, and then you have to pull out the you know, bulb and the bulb casing or whatever. And you put the four double A's in there. Um, kind so, of different. A lot of times, a lot of flashlights, you know, load from the other end. Right. That's true. Load from the butt. Right. Yep. And so it's got a xenon bulb, which I guess is kind of cool. Um, whatever. And uh, it's got this uh, unique switching mechanism. Um, their website says that one of the good things about it is that it's uh, easy to use when you have your gloves on. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm guessing that, um, you know, some of the flashlights we reviewed before, are waterproof but for more out of water use yeah but this one looks like something like if you were i don't know like diving in a cave yeah. or a dark area you know also doing some like uh, scuba snorkeling right. type related things they actually have a flashlight that's a little more expensive than this one it's the same model but it's upgraded for salt water diving so it's it's you know protected for salt water and actually also glows in the dark does this um, one glow I don't know. It would seem like if it was dark that you would see it. But I think what they're talking about is that when it's off, it glows. Ah, pretty oh, cool. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. It, man, I'll tell you, I could not break it. Pretty rugged construction. Yep. And, and for, I don't know, I maybe compare it to like a mag light, but a mag light's made of metal. I don't think you can put that in the bucket of water. No, I don't think like that. But I'm right. saying construction wise, it looks like. Like I said, cheap plastic, but no. not cheap plastic at all. It's legit. Definitely take a beating. Yep. So good flashlight to have if you're doing any sort yeah. of underwater searching, whether yeah. at night or. I guess you know. Actually, I've been on an underwater snorkeling tour at night, and you know some of the flashlights that we had. Actually, I remember the one I used was really janky. Really. So yeah, I mean, you know, if you're if you're looking at night. You know, you want a good yeah. flashlight, you want to be able to see what's going on. So there's right. going to be a product to use for that sort of uh, right. nighttime outdoor adventure. That's right. Um, it also has a lifetime guarantee, which I guess, um, you know, take that for what it's worth most times, right? Um, you know, why are you going to go calling somebody and spending your time trying to return a flashlight? But I saw a review on Amazon where a guy said that after having the flashlight for a couple of years, uh, it just stopped working on him. And uh, he contacted the company, and without any question asked, they sent him a new one. Um, so that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, interesting. Yes. There we go. They stand yes. by the product. We'll put a yes. uh, I'm sure we would have had a link to the product earlier on in the show. Maybe I'll put it again. 
right there. What, what will that one be for? Uh, the same thing. Should sure. I put a different link? Sure. Tell me, tell me the link you want to see right now. I'll put it up. Guinea pig costumes. All right. Guinea pig costumes coming up. Okay. All right. Click the link. There you oh. go. Okay, that's our episode. See you later. CampingGearTV.com.